Hey everyone, Oli Lindley here from One Number, and today I'm going to show you how to add a quarter plus year filter into your dashboards, which might sound kind of weird, but in Tableau it's really easy to add a quarter filter, which looks like this, right? Date part quarter means that when you add in that quarter filter, you can select whether you want to see Q4, Q3, Q2, Q1, but no year selection as well. <clears throat> what we want is something like this, right? Where we can select those individual quarters uh, that we want to see. So that's what I'm going to show you. This workbook is going to be in the description below so you can follow along. Uh, you can download that from Tableau Public. But let's dive into it and see exactly what's going on. So to build this view, I'm just going to put my month or week of order date. It doesn't really matter too much and sales. You know, we just want to create a view that, that we can use. Okay, so I've got three ways of doing this. The first is to drop order date onto filters and select quarters. So this is exactly what we did last last time. It doesn't really work if I show this filter, right? Those are my normal quarters. So what I'm going to do is hit the drop down, go to date value quarter, choose a range of dates. And then if I just show this filter, it's literally going to give me a range, which I don't really want. So what I'm gonna do now is hit the drop down and change this to discrete. And now I've got all my quarter values selected there once I show this filter. So I don't know why this is so difficult to do natively, but that's how we gotta do it for option number one. Okay, let's name the sheet, option one. Um, hmm, let's just duplicate so that we don't have to rebuild all of that. Option two, I'm gonna take this off. And I'm going to show you how to create a custom date uh, for our order date. But if this sounds interesting to you and you want to take your Tableau to the next level, why not join us for one of our courses that we've got coming up? We're super excited um, about what we've got to offer from the, the, the start of this year. Uh, we also have launched a training pass so you have access to all our courses for a single fee. That's all our courses for 50% off. We'd love to see you there. Okay, so here's what we could do. <clears throat> We're going to right click on our order date field. We're going to create a custom date. This is super helpful if you know you're gonna be using this quarter and year filter or year and quarter filter multiple times in your dashboard. And you don't wanna go through that whole process of dragging the order field on, you know, the date field on, choosing quarter, then making it uh, date value and continuous. So what I'm gonna do is call this year plus quarter. I don't think I've called it that. Exact value and date value is fine. <clears throat> uh, is it? I want quarters, date value quarters. <laughs> okay, that's all we want. Now you'll notice that it creates another calculated field. So this is what we're gonna use every time we wanna filter. Now, if I drag this on immediately, you'll see that it's continuous or a date value. And that's not exactly what I want. So I'm gonna right click and make this discrete. Okay, convert to discrete. And now I'm gonna drop this onto filters and I'm gonna choose individual dates. Okay, if I choose anything else, this method is not gonna work. So I'm gonna choose individual dates and here are all my quarters. Okay, awesome. That's relatively easy to do. And the last option, which you could use for quarters, you could use it for any other kind of date value um, that you want, you know, any kind of filter that you want, is simply to create a calculated field. So you could do something like um, date quarter filter, and I'm just gonna say, uh, okay, I'm with the string of the year of order date, plus, what do I want? Plus this, plus, I think a space, plus the string of the uh, quarter of order date. Okay, so all this calculated field is gonna do is return this no matter what. So it's kind of simple and it allows us to do something like this. Now, hmm, I've got one, two, three, four instead of Q1, Q2, Q3. So let's go back and edit that again. And in this place, I'm gonna add in a little Q. That's all. And let's drop that in. And that's really nice. And right click and show that filter. So different ways of doing the same thing, three options. The calculated field is nice because you could tweak that to get the exact sort of date, uh, I don't know, the date part, date selection that you want.
but hopefully those other two are helpful as well. Okay, all this information is, or this workbook is available on Tableau Public. There's a little bit in the description if you wanna find out some more, but post your comments in the, uh, you know, your sort of questions in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay, hope this is helpful. See you next time.